Good eye! <laughs> well, welcome to me eating lunch. Everything alright? Ah. Rump steak, medium rare, salad, homemade fries. That's bagger. Ça va bien. It's four euros. Glass of wine, much cheaper than drinking beer. A half pint of beer will cost you three and a half euros. Yeah, well. So what is this rum steak? Right, straight off the grill. <laughs> mm. It's grisly, but the gristle, it's tasty gristle, it is, they don't like a bit of tasty gristle on their steak, and this is still real, well pink. It's good, it's a bit chewy. It is chewy. Chips are really good. I love homemade fries and they're, they're literally French fries, homemade French fries. Not chips, not they're really good. Mm. Twenty-seven Euros for the rump steak with salad and fries. But it also includes the reason why I come in here is because I don't like um, paying for parking. <laughs> I don't, especially when you've got to pay by the credit card, so I'll get additional fees. So, where I actually came into the restaurant, into their car park, yes, I can park there for a few hours. But in order to do so, for me to go off and make a vlog about the castle, um, I have to come in <laughs> and buy dinner. I have to eat. Fair enough. Mm. So hopefully you can see what I'm actually eating. The food is good. Hmm? chips and it didn't take long literally under 10 minutes from when I ordered from when it got here but it is a lovely nice piece of meat <laughs> so Hopefully you can see me. When I'm looking at the screen, I'm putting a... Oh, hang on. I don't look too bad now I'm looking at the screen. Let me glasses on. Without them, it looks a bit... Um, too much light coming in, overexposed. But that's just because I don't have my glasses on. There's probably a light behind me. It's, like I say, it's not bad. What, what I do love is the fresh... Fresh French baguette. Just to mop up all that juice and blood. <laughs> and dressing on the salad. Cold weather outside. It's actually blowing a gale out there at the moment, and the temperature is just 12 degrees. Hence, the coat. And before I go out, I'll have to see if I can get a woolly hat. Because yesterday, the wind in Toulouse 
kept blowing, <laughs> kept blowing me Bill and Ben hair off, and I nearly lost it. I would have been gutted. Hmm. Mm. Mate, so it's a nice place to stay. And I say, um, this is only the second time I actually made it into a restaurant. But it is very good. I haven't actually had to add any salt, pepper, vinegar, mayonnaise, any, any condiments whatsoever. But it's quite nice, quite fresh. Bit of salad. And this this is my breakfast. I haven't eaten. First thing I've eaten today is this. And I was like, I need to eat. I weren't feeling too great earlier. Felt a bit squiffy. Another night where not too much sleep. I do sleep well in the mornings when it's time to get up. But I'm back to camping today. Where that's going to be, I really don't know. Mm. It could be here. There's a campsite at the foot of the castle by the river, which looks like an interesting place to stay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But that's doubtful I'm going to stay here. I'll probably get on to the next, the next destination along the coast because I'm literally so close to that coastline now. I can taste it. I, s I picked this Savignon, they had red, they had pink, they had white. I picked the Savignon off, uh, over the Chardonnay. It was alright, a little light, more lighter and refreshing. For a breakfast, wine. Ah, I love a wine for breakfast. Man, it's, all, it's all part and parcel. I said it's lunchtime, it's about two o'clock. Coming up to two o'clock, he says. It's actually one minute past two. It's quite late to eat in the day, isn't it? I had two coffees this morning when I got up. It was up just after eight o'clock. So, this has got to do me well. Maybe I want a little kip after eating this. Mm. Blowing the gale, getting stronger and stronger. <laughs> That's why I chose to come in here before I went off scurrying about. I'm not sure if I'm going to get caught in rain when I go out. And one of the things I forgot, I forgot to bring quite a lot of things. But one of them was a big umbrella. I think Woody had about four or five of them, he collects them. <laughs> and I forgot to chore one before I left. Mm. So I hope you enjoy watching me eat. <laughs> it's a bit different this vlog from the last one with the pork. It's 
steak with a cardboard girl on. I thought that was a good vlog for me. <laughs> Wild camping. Best food channel as it is. It's just no fan physique. It is just as it is. You're going to come in and have a, a, a meal. This is how you would do it, isn't it? You know? You're, you're not going to have loads of. Oh, it, no, no, no. Close up shots. Look at that. that. That's a load of. That's, you know what it is, don't you? When people do all that. That's the bullsh. That's what that is. That's what that is. And all them vods, when they do that, they go, oh, get that zoom in, get all this. Get all that. That is the bull. And, and it works because people like. Like a bit of bull, don't they? Mmm, they do. They do. They want the sizzle more than they actually want the sausage. Sadly, that's what YouTube is all about. Well, this channel is all about the sausage. <laughs> And with that said, I forgot to buy some Toulouse sausages before I left Toulouse because I'd be cooking them up tonight in a pan, showing you how to cook the sausage for real. But I haven't given up. <laughs> Italy next, Italian sausage is good. Hopefully I'll find some proper sausages and show you how to cook them. <laughs> I'm getting a bit stuffed. Guys, which is good. Mm. Cool place to stop and eat. And quite, I think it's quite lucky that it was situated right near the castle. <laughs> I think I'm just going to put. A <laughs> I think I need my scarf from the Himalayas. I do. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. It takes a little bit of chewing. It's very good. Oh, very good. Very moist and circle in that steak. Even though it's a bit chewy. Um, right. That's literally me, guys. <laughs> so I hope you like my little vlog here yeah, in this little restaurant which of course will be in a title so cheers and until next time bon appetit